Hello, and I'm joined by Matlock Town Assistant Manager Dave Wilde. Dave, without his glasses on, let me just uh, put that out there. Uh, Dave, I can't see anything. Three <laughs> 0 win today, despite the fact you couldn't see any of the goals. Yeah, yeah. Three 0 win today over Gainsborough Trinity. Uh, just how pleased are you, first of all, with the team's performance this afternoon? Um, we're very pleased with the result. Um, in terms of the performance, thought we were solid defensively again, uh, which is sort of what we're. What we're trying to build really as a as a group, you know, obviously Philo was a goalkeeper and that's that's always our first port of call and, and always will be. So in, in terms of that area of the pitch, I was really pleased. Overall performance, uh, I think we're better than what we what we showed, if I'm being honest. Um, and, you know, it probably looks a bit hypercritical um, based on the scoreline, but I, I just think we've got better performances in, certainly in, in attacking areas. Uh, and I think one or two individuals have have uh, probably been you know a little bit below par in, in comparison to previous games but in the defense of the group um, we've had three really tough games um, in, a, in a really short space of time and obviously we've got the FA Cup Saturday so um, it's just one of them periods at the minute and uh, we've just got to sort of utilize the full group so yeah p pleasing result an okay performance. Uh, well, it's five wins in a row and three clean sheets in a row. Uh, just how pleased are you as well with uh, the performances defensively? Because it was fantastic the other day at Warrington. You just seem to nullify anything that Gainsborough threw at you today. Just how pleased are you with the backbone of the uh, of the team? Uh, yeah, very pleased. Very pleased in general. I just think that Gainsborough are obviously a young side, youthful side. Um, a manager who obviously has... Um, you know, come through sort of academy football under twenty threes football at Lincoln, um, and that's obviously the style of play that they that they um, work on and, and produce week to week. So, a lot of the football for us today we felt was in front of us. Um, we didn't feel overly threatened in terms of them turning us or, or or you know putting good runners in behind. I think obviously they didn't have Niall Blake playing today, um, who's a, a good direct player for them and a. Well, you know, undoubtedly was a big miss for them. But in, t in terms of sort of how we defended, and yeah, we were resolute, we were solid. Um, but in terms of sort of the battle like we've put in at places like Nantwich and and Warrington over the last ten days or seven days, that you know, it was a bit of a different style of performance from them. Uh, and I thought all all the back five plus the keeper were, you know, they were they were resolute um, and didn't allow gaps to open and, and, and weren't allowed weren't weren't allowing the opposition to drag us out of sort of areas um, to put us in danger. So it, it was a it was a good solid performance in terms of defensive base. Mm -hmm. uh, Jerome Greaves with his uh, first couple of goals for the club uh, certainly attracted a lot of online praise, certainly caught the attention of a few Rotherham fans online as well. <laughs> good. Um, just what have you made, obviously he's not been at the club very long, but uh, what have you made of his uh, loan stint so far at the Gladiators? Well, first and foremost, he's a brilliant lad. A really, really good lad. Um, you know, a, a lot of people won't know this, but he he missed his, uh, one of his close friends' funerals on on Saturday. Just gone to play for us against against Warrington. So that's sort of testament to to him as a person, him as an individual, and how much he sort of wants a career in football. So that's the a main pat on the back to him. Um, I was pleased for him today. I think what I will say, to, which is a big, big, big plus for him, is he's not 100% fit there, and he wasn't at Warrington. And he's ran through the pain barrier twice um, for the cause, and you've got you have to respect players like that. Um, his second goal was excellent today. Yeah. Uh, I thought his movement to to find the yard and and obviously flip the ball past um, the keeper was you know the quality that he possesses, which is why he's at a club like Rotherham. Um, but you know he's taken well to the group. The lads like him. Uh, he's really humble. He's not coming as a I'm a professional in your non-league sort of mentality. He's here to work hard and and wants to impress um, uh, the management at Rotherham. And you know when we give reports back, he's certainly doing that. Uh, Mention this to Philo after the Warrington game, where this team are finding wins and you're getting these wins even without some key uh, key players yeah. missing. So. Um, just from your perspective, just how pleasing is it to see that you're getting these wins like today, for instance, with our Jezra Nuchegbala, who's been excellent so far. Um, this was only the first game that Hughes has been back for this season, so you've got wins without your skipper. Just how encouraging is that, that you're able to get these wins without some key players? Yeah, really pleasing. Firstly, the pronunciation of Jez there was the best I've seen since, uh, since he's been in non-league. That was a yeah. good effort. Um, <laughs> 
we, one one thing that Phil Owen, Phil Owen, myself, the staff, the group, the group themselves, they don't want to rely on one player, Liam Hughes or you know Jez, for example. They're the two that you mentioned. We don't. We're, we're more than that. We're a really good core group. Um, but you know, it, it, look, let, let's have it right. Liam Hughes is a, an outstanding forward for the level. He's got himself in really good shape physically and mentally. Um, and and you know, top and bottom is he was a huge miss for us for those for those four or five games. Um, but we've come through it because we've got such a good group and we've got lads who've gone in and sort of staked their claim. Like Jerome, he's kept his shirt today. We've gone with two powerful forwards. Um, and and that's what it's about for us really this year is, you know, Ross has, Ross has started the season really well, scored, he was leading scorer in pre-season. He's got five for his shirt back now because um, yeah. ultimately Jerome scored two and Hughes had a really good game. So it, it's pleasing the squad depth that we've got is, is good. Um, one thing that I'm really happy with, and I know Philo is, I say, I say, I it's always we, is the lads who aren't playing aren't moaning, um, and we want we want them knocking on the door. Why am I not getting a game? And frustrated, obviously we do, but they not they understand that when the team's doing well and the lads are performing, you've just got to back the lads, and when you get your chance, you take your chance, and, and ultimately that's what's happened again today with Jerome. Um, I thought Lirat was very good today. Obviously he's had to sit and wait his turn uh, since coming in from Doncaster and. Uh, yeah, in terms of a squad and a, and a full car, I think we're in a really good place. OK, just finally, next game is this coming weekend on Saturday against Belper Town in a Derbyshire derby in the FA Cup first qualifying round. Uh, should be a good crowd as well with it being a local yeah. tie. Um, what kind of game are you expecting with that one, with Belper being a division below? I think the division below thing, I've heard this a couple of times, not even necessarily from yourself, I saw it on an interview with uh, the Belper managers. I don't think it means anything in the right. FA Cup, personally. Um, I don't think one level in, in cup football, especially with it being such a local derby, I, I don't really think it matters. Um, you know, they've got good, good players there. You know, Danny South is going to be you know, dominant in both boxes. Josh Woodcock uh, at fullback is a really talented young player. So, you know, we know we know about them. Uh, we've had them watch today, as I'm sure someone from Belper will have been here, and we'll have our game plan to sort of attempt to go and win the game. But I think the big thing you've just said there, which is it's so pleasing for myself, Philo and the club, um, and I spoke to Bryn, the chairman, this week about it. It's just the growth in numbers at, at these games. You know, we've gone to, gone to, I think we went to Nantwich with about 40 away fans, which doesn't sound a lot, but on a Tuesday night from Matlock to, to Nantwich, it's yeah, good yeah. support. We turn up at Warrington, 60, 70 fans come here today, 600, nearly 650 highest crowd of the day. Um, and highest crowd of the season for us. And it's just it just shows that we're really continuing to build that togetherness. Uh, build that community spirit back up, which is what ultimately we were tasked with, and and uh, long may that continue. And I do think that the Belper game gives us opportunity to sort of continue to swell that uh, with a local derby, and hopefully we'll, you know, we'll we'll put a performance on to um, to thank the thank the fans really. Okay, well, congratulations on the win today, Waldy, and make sure you get your glasses on. I'm going to need to. <laughs> Cheers.